let us find few subsets of C. Okay. So here, as you can see, there is one equation. It represents some subset of C and we have to find it. Let us start. I will start with a given equation. I will write we have, okay, we have mod z minus 1 plus 3i is equal to 2. What we will do, we will replace z by x plus i y. You know that z is a complex number which can be expressed as x plus i y, real part plus i into imaginary part. Let us do that. So I am putting here z is equal to x plus i y minus 1 plus 3i is equal to 2. After that, obviously, I will collect real part, I will collect imaginary part. So real part is x minus 1, imaginary part, by taking i common, we get y plus 3. So you know well how to find value of mod. Mod is equal to square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. Let us do that. So this is square root of square of real part x minus 1 square plus y plus 3 square is equal to 2. I don't like that square root. So to remove square root, I will take square of both sides. So therefore, what we get x minus 1 square plus y plus 3 square is equal to 2 square. But this represents an equation of circle. You know that if you have x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square, then this is a circle with center. What is its center? A comma b. And what will be its radius? Radius is r. Getting so it also it is a circle. I will write it is a circle. Okay. Will you tell me its center and radius? Center, its center will be getting 1 comma minus 3. Actually, minus sign should be there. But what we have, we have plus sign. Plus means what? Minus minus 2 times. So that's why y minus minus 3. So that's why they have given y plus 3, right? So what will be its center? 1 comma minus 3. And what will be its radius? Radius 2 square is there. And what we have in the standard form? R square. So its radius is let us draw that circle here. Okay. So here we have a x axis, real axis, and this is imaginary axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Right. So what is the center? 1, comma, minus 3. The center will be here. 1, comma, minus 3. Right. And what is it say? Uh, radius. Radius is 2. So 2 on this side, 2 on that side, on this side also we go up to 2 and here also 2. So circle will be like this. I am drawing a rough sketch. I hope you can understand. Okay, so this is a required circle. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we'll go for a next example. Let us discuss this second example. Okay, what have they given? Mod Z minus Z0 is equal to mod Z minus Z0 bar, where imaginary part of Z0 is not equal to 0. Z represents any complex number. Z naught means any fixed complex number. We can take it as a X naught plus I Y naught. Okay. And we have to find it represents circle, parabola, ellipse, straight line or any region. Okay. We don't know. Let us start. What will I do? I will start with a given thing. We have mod Z minus Z naught is equal to mod Z minus Z naught bar. So you know that what we do. We replace Z by X plus I Y. Z0 is a fixed complex number, so I will replace it by x0 plus i, y0. Let us do. So, therefore, mod x plus i, y minus x0 plus i, y0 is equal to mod x plus i, y minus z0 bar. That means complex conjugate of z0, which will be x0 minus i, y0. So you know well what we do after that we collect real part, we collect imaginary part. What will we get? So therefore mod real part x minus x naught plus i imaginary part y minus y naught. Right. And here real part x minus x naught plus i imaginary part y minus minus plus y plus y naught. You know well how to find a value of mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. Let us do the same thing on both sides. So therefore, square root of x minus x naught square 
प्लस वाई माइनस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई प्लस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर आई डोंट लाइक स्क्वेयर रूट आई थिंक यूर टू सो दैट्स वाई टू रिमूव स्क्वेयर रूट आई विल टेक स्क्वेयर ऑफ बोथ साइड सो वट विल हैपन स्क्वेयर रूट विल गेट कैंसल एंड वी विल हैव एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई माइनस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर ऑन दैट साइड ऑल्सो एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई प्लस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर राइट सी ऑन बोथ साइड्स वी हैव अ सेम ब्रैकेट एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट स्क्वेयर राइट सो वी कैन कैंसल दैट ब्रैकेट फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट स्क्वेयर सो वी विल हैव बाई कैंसलिंग फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट्स वाई माइनस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू वाई प्लस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर सो वी कैन एक्सपांड दोज ब्रैकेट्स नो बाई यूजिंग ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर फॉर्मुलेज सो दे आर फोर वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस टू वाई वाई नॉट प्लस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर ऑन दैट साइड वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस टू वाई वाई नॉट प्लस वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर टेल मी इज देर एनी स्कोप टू कैंसल फ्यू टर्म्स यस डेफिनेटली वाई स्क्वेयर वाई स्क्वेयर वी कैन कैंसल फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स वी कैन कैंसल वाई नॉट स्क्वेयर ऑल्सो सो वॉट विल बी द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑन दिस साइड सिंपली वी विल हैव माइनस टू वाई वाई नॉट ऑन दैट साइड प्लस टू वाई वाई नॉट लेट एस शिफ्ट both terms to one side i'm shifting this minus y y not to that side then there will be addition so obviously 4 y y not so therefore what we get 4 y y not is equal to 0 right so see i'm going to shift y 4 y y not on that side so y is equal to 0 upon 4 y y not so obviously 0 Okay, they have mentioned imaginary part of z naught is not equal to zero. That means if what is imaginary part of z naught? Why not? So y naught is not equal to zero. So definitely you can shift to that side. Okay, or otherwise in a different way if you are thinking three numbers are there, the product is zero. That means at least one of them is zero. Four cannot be zero. Why not? They have mentioned it is not equal to zero. So there is only one possibility that is y zero, right? So here we are having y zero. Y zero represents an equation of x-axis, right? So this is x-axis. So what we get, we get x-axis here. Okay. So this is x-axis, real axis. It is better to say. So real axis. It represents a real axis, right? So yeah, problem is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.